Happy New Year, and welcome to the OSHPAD Update for January 2020, where we let you know what's happening here at the Office of Statewide Health Planning and Development. In data news, the end of 2019 saw OSHPAD release new wholesale acquisition cost increase information for prescription drugs. The data submitted to OSHPED shows how much reported drugs have increased at the wholesale level, as well as provide additional information on the reasons for the increases. With the release of the second quarter data, the three-year median increase for wholesale acquisition remained unchanged at 25.8%, which is an approximate 8% annual increase in the median wholesale acquisition cost over the last three years. See the second quarter data on our website. Keeping with new data, OSHPED released a data visualization in December that highlights California hospitals' success in reducing the number of C-section births. This data product was made using the 2019 C-section honor roll for hospitals as named by Cal Hospital Compare and the California Health and Human Services Agency. The honor roll recognizes hospitals' efforts to reduce C-section births. See this visualization and other products on our website. For professionals and students in the healthcare field, a new year means new application periods for those seeking loan repayment programs and scholarships. First up, the County Medical Services Program's loan repayment program is now taking applications until March 2nd. The County Medical Services Program assists with the repayment of educational loans for primary care healthcare professionals who provide services at approved sites. The program provides $25,000 to $50,000 in funding depending on the service commitment. The Stephen M. Thompson Physician Loan Repayment Program is still taking applications until February 21st. The program repays up to $105,000 in educational loans for a commitment of at least three years of service in an underserved community. On the scholarship front, the Associate Degree Nursing, Bachelor of Science Nursing, Licensed Vocational Nurse to Associate Degree Nursing, and Vocational Nurse Scholarship Programs are now accepting applications until February 25th. The programs award anywhere from $4,000 to $10,000 for a year of school in exchange for a year of service at a qualified facility in California. For program eligibility and more, visit our website. In public meeting news, several commissions and committees will convene in January. On the 16th, the Hospital Building Safety Board's Education and Outreach Committee will meet, and on January 16th, the Healthcare Payments Data Review Committee will convene. On January 30th, the California Healthcare Workforce Policy Commission's Family Nurse Practitioner Physician Assistant Training Programs will host their funding meeting. Get information on meeting agendas and more on our website. In December, OSHPED said goodbye to its longtime director, Robert P. David, who retired from state service. During his 12 plus years with OSHPED, Bob David guided innovations that increased access to quality health care by expanding opportunities for healthcare professionals to practice in areas of unmet need, making OSHPED healthcare data more accessible, and increasing hospital building safety for patients, staff, and visitors. OSHPED welcomes Marco Meech, Deputy Secretary of the California Health and Human Services Agency, as Acting OSHPED Director. OSHPED has a lot going on and more coming up, so keep up to date by subscribing to our YouTube channel. For links to the web pages mentioned in this video, Please see the video description section on our YouTube page. Thank you for watching.